Yes. Uh, so I have, it's funny how it happened on a run. It popped into my head how to make a sequel because um, the book doesn't end. Sometimes when you read a book, it ends clearly on a, you know, we have a sequel coming. This one doesn't, but I do know where it goes. Um, and um, to that end about COVID, you are right that right now kids for, so polio happened mm, up until the 50s, say, 50s, let's say that, up until the 50s. So these are current children's grandparents and great-grandparents who went through that. That's the last time we had something that the whole world felt like this. So current kids, current adults, we've never been through anything like this. And so right now, kids have seen terrible disease come and in some cases take people that they loved. They have seen scientists figure out what it was. How quickly did we figure out what it was? Really quickly. How to test for it? Super quickly. A vaccine in less than a year? Unheard of. But that's because for years behind the scenes, they've been working on something that was kind of similar. Years. You know, it didn't just happen in a year. It took years to get here, but it was ready and just had to be tweaked. And then they saw like in our hospital overnight, we got um, negative pressure rooms, which if you had someone who's infected, you can have a room that the um, air pressure changes to keep the infection in the room and out of the corridor. But overnight, we got a whole bunch of them rather than just the couple that we had before. And engineers did that. You know, engineers worked around the clock to make those rooms. And engineers across the nation, across the, the world probably, refigured how we make ventilators because we had the ventilator shortage. Students in college, engineering students in college made ventilators. And so people, young people are seeing all of this. And I think the time is right for, um, for an interest in science like this because uh, we need future science people. Uh, we need clear thinking, critical thinking that comes with science. And our kids, this this is the perfect time because they've seen it all play out in just one year. Science has saved the world.